Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today, I want to encourage you why we need God. Over in Judges chapter 17, verse 6, it says, In those days there was no king in Israel, but every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And as we read that chapter, that's the story about a a young man called Micah who had basically stolen his mother's silver she gave some back to him and he made idols and then in the next chapter he had um, just before that he had employed a Levite to stay with him and be his priest and still kept his idols and then later on the Danites came along and spied the land out and then come and just stole his idols and took his priest away and then the next chapter after that we have the heinous situation of a, a guy who was a Levite and he had a concubine and she got brutally uh, dismembered that's what happens when there's no God and there's no rule of law there was no king so there's no rule of law Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. And that's why ultimately we need God, because we need authority over our lives. The ultimate authority is God. And we need leadership, we need authority, because we human beings, you know, Paul says it in, I think it's Romans 3, and it's also in the Psalms, we, we all like sheep have gone astray, every man to his own way. Is that Psalms or Isaiah? I can't remember, sorry. But that's what the scripture's saying, I think, Romans 3. All we like sheep have gone astray. If we don't have authority over us, we just run amok. You know, and that's what that's basically what anarchy is, isn't it? There's no authority whatsoever. So that's my encouragement for you today from Judges from the story of Micah. That's sort of really covering Judges seventeen, eighteen and nineteen. It just becomes it just becomes ridiculous and, and nobody's safe. There was a group of people that were dwelling safe and secure. They didn't have anything to do with anyone else, else and mind their own business. And then the Danites, they hadn't had their inheritance yet, so they thought, oh, we'll just go and pick those people off. Now, that was the Lord that had told them to inherit the land, fair enough. But that's, you know, our, our Western society is a bit like that today. We all live in peace and security, but we just suddenly allow these people in, and then they, and they come in and they want, and then they'll take over because the rule of law is not being applied. There's no, you know, there's no, that people don't believe in God anymore. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. They they believe in their own gods and do things their own way, and it just causes mayhem. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, you need him as your Lord and Savior. He is coming back to reign as king one day. And so it's better, better get right with him now. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. God bless you. Have a great day.